Le Odon, le Vipo. Now see me in this video. You will see, you will see. Hold on. You don't have the full clip. There was a thing. There was okay, some you don't have the, the finger. This is the clip. If finger. you have the full, or you bring the one that you have. Look at. Hold on. See, see the way that hand was moving. You see how swollen that hand was. The main fact is that for that hand not to be bleeding when it was sent to nurse, so someone administer is first aid on him. And who agreed to have administered those first aid? Nobody in that house agreed to have administered those first aid because Hello. the commissioner used bleeding on the second day. So for the bleeding Hello. to stop before, okay, you want to say something? No, let's be guided, okay? Say what you know. Stop all this, your I believe this, I believe that. You said you're going to show me who was who was actually okay. moving the, the hand. And right now, I've played the video and you could not show me who was moving the hand. So what are you now saying? I'm not talking of who was moving the hand. I was talking, okay, about, okay, talking okay, about the okay, video. Okay. I said okay. for the, the police commissioner used the word bleeding. And in this photo, there's no there's no kind of bleeding in it. So someone administered a first state on him. For the bleeding to stop and nobody admits to say they were the one that admit administered those first aid because he wasn't alive to say we did that again and they decide to sweep it under the carpet because that blood is not stopping on its own it's not possible the second day blood bleeding did not stop on its own which the police commissioner said yet yeah, that he was you on the second day did you just say it's not possible for a bleeding to stop on his own, I will not see the sign of the blood, we will not see the color of the blood on his hand. Are you telling wait, me that wait. someone did not wipe out those bloods away wait. from his hand? Someone administered a first wait. aid um, on him. Um, CK, what you're trying to make us listening to you right now is that bleeding cannot stop on its own. Listen to me, if a bleeding stops on its own, there will be a traces of blood on the skin. That's what I'm saying. In that picture, yeah. do you see a traces of blood on his skin? Somebody yeah. wipes those bloods away. That yeah. means there is a first aid administered on him. Did you hear when the police said that? Police the said there was bleeding was on the second day. Don't you hear what the commissioner said? The commissioner said there is bleeding, the, the, the bleeding still continue. On the second day i'm not arguing with you maybe it's the first day bleeding that continue but the point is that there is bleeding on that second day and the picture that was sent to the nurse was the picture of the second day which means if there is bleeding on the second day and the bleeding started before the picture was taken to send to the nurse it means we should see a traces of blood in his hand and the video of the hand you just played to us did now you see, the, now did you see the blood on his hand there is no traces that's what i'm saying that someone now, cleaned it up it's a wait, first thing okay, that is administered you, wait, on you. someone cleaned wait now wait 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 yeah. someone cleaned it up whatever whatever that is your own believer b not it's not my like own belief anyway. now can't you don't you understand what i'm saying commissioner said we and gave both the some of the injection Immediately, the central zone injection was administered. Miss Faisal confirmed that Mubad started committing. Why do symbols appear on his face and not over his body? At this point, it dawned on Miss Faisal that Mubad was reacting to the administered medications. Okay. Do you understand this part? Because it's very clear that the nurse, according to the police report here, that it was after she gave the injection, Muba started reacting to it. She saw it and she needed to get um, another medication that would subside that reaction. I think I had this argument with Ade Doi at, um, 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 what they call it, Missy Found Me platform where she was trying to vindicate the nurse we were trying to uh, the police also said the tetanus injection and every other injection was given intravenously is that what the police said or given in yeah, the police said like three she gave three injections and that was given intravenously by the nurse and the tetanus as well yes exactly 
Are you sure? Yeah, the police said, I'll play it for you. You hear, you hear everything. The police said that the nurse gave three injection. Please, 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 please just rewind a little yeah, bit. Yeah. The same thing, but it's, it's not on this particular fun. clip. This particular oh, clip, no. this particular clip, wait, um, this particular clip is the narrative of what transpired. But in that particular, um, in the, in, the, in the clip of where they will state all the drugs that the nurse um, um, administered to Mobad is in the narrative of the suspects where they'll have to call them and say this is what and what and what led to them identifying them as suspects. So I rather play this one through, then I will now come and play that particular part. Uh, please stop movie. Take it back a little bit. I just want to confirm if the Titanus was also administered intravenously, please. If you want to hear that part, I could just go to the, the, that particular part and play it for you so that I can hear it very well. Okay, thanks. Okay, let me play that one. One. Number two. When they get to the court, these are the questions that they need to ask the nurse. Why did you administer an antibiotic to Mobad? Why? Number two, according to what I know, Mobad was given an antihistamine, you know, medication, which is also known as Benidrain. If I want to say, you know, the brand name is Benidrain. And why did she decide what made her? Give mobile intravenous medication that were meant to go orally. She will have to answer to that. Could it be that when the nurse got to mobile home, for you to administer medication intravenously, it must be that that patient wasn't conscious as of the time the medication was administered intravenously. She will have to answer to that. Because I want to say that when she got there, I'm not sure I wasn't there if Mobad was conscious. Because if Mobad was conscious as of the time she got there, there would be no need for her to administer that drug intravenously. Okay? So thank you so much. Uh, top movie. I've watched your video. It makes sense. But whatever that you're showing us here, as much as I want to believe you, especially with the Prado. Do you know how, how strong Prado is? Prado is very, the glass of a Prado is thick, double layered glass. It's a double layered glass made with a double layer glass. And you want to Wait, tell me, know. hold on please, know. hold on please. I want to respond to what hold you said on. concerning please, the nurse. Let me, okay, please let me speak. And you want to tell me that this gentleman mobile hit his hand on a Prado and got that. And I want to stand, the lawyer, the prosecuting lawyer, should be able to ask these questions. When the nurse got to Moba's house, what was the situation at hand? Because if Moba was alert, and well, if Moba was alert, I'm not sure she would have given that, that medication. On your Wi-Fi, you've connected. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay, now um, let me add do this. to what let me you just sure. said. Sorry, top moving to add to what yeah. she just said. A video was sent to the nurse, but what did they show us as an evidence? Uh, some photocopied sh bullshit. So you, if you are showing evidence, you're supposed to show it how it is. For them to show that photocopy bullshit, they already withheld information. So therefore. Um. Whatever they yes, came sir. to show us is is not acceptable. Yes, sir. I want to believe that you are in the medical field, right? My profession doesn't really matter. It's just common sense, really. Okay, now listening to the crime that um, the nurse confessed to, just listening to her own crime, this one is different from the ones I initially played to you. Listening, then when you listen to this, they from respond the, from back. the horse's mouth? Is it from the... the... Listen, listen, listen okay. to what All the right. police say. Mm 
Miss Felisa Yen. Okay, okay. Miss Jones, auxiliary nurse. Who was from? Miss Jones, auxiliary nurse. Who was contacted and invited by your parents at the AKA spending a friend of Nova on 11 September 2023 to treat the singer at the deceased residence in Lenny. She eventually came on Tuesday, 12 September 2023 and administered three different injections, which are believed to have occasioned the chain, the chain of reactions that it directly resulted in the eventual death of the singer. She is the principal suspect in the death of Nova. She acknowledged that she acknowledged the yeah, other word. She acknowledged. So this is her statement. Yeah, Let me go back. Word. Don't say here that word. It sounds rude. Thank you. Sorry. sorry. In the death of Nova, she acknowledged that it was the injection that she administered on the disease that triggers the reaction which eventually led to mobile death. Other expert opinion and witnesses' statements corroborated her admitters. Her action of administering doses of tetanus toxoid, paracetamol, intravenous, and sertraxone injection, which was also administered intravenous and mobile, at his residence, that's mobile's residence, on 12 September 2023, immediately triggered the reactions, including vomiting. Do you know what I just noticed? I think this video is caught. On this very one, the tightness was it has been cut out. No, no, no. This is the full video that you see in any social media space. And this is how he's going to play. In, and it's not a cut and join video. It's a complete, it's a full video. You can see, uh, what's it called? You can see channel television watermark on it. So if you actually want to see this video, you can as well go to channel television and do your own um, finding. Okay. Continue, continue. That eventually resulted in the singer's death. This criminal liability is further heightened, granted the evidential fact that as an auxiliary nurse, she is not qualified to administer such medications or function as a qualified nurse. She also did this in a non clinical environment and in a professionally negligent manner. Standard okay. I think that is all for now. If you have anything to say, you can all, just all add this, your all these rejects, all these medications that we are said to be administered by the nurse. We have a postmortem result. Was it the same medications that was that the postmortem found in Mo? Was it the same the, poli the police commissioner just mentioned now that the nurse administered? Um, CK, that is what they call metabolism. Okay, you know the body was exhumed after nine days. So you don't expect those drugs to still be dictated. It must have got it was it must have gone through the metabolism state. The thing was have diffused out of the body. So you don't expect the postmodern examination to dictate those um, medications. So it means that, that the postmodern result dictate different medications. That's what it means. See, medications have life cycle. They have life cycle. Okay. There are there are some they, they have duration that they will stay in your system. So that is not the point of argument. Yeah, we have we need to argue to it because if 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 postmortem discovers some certain drugs that are not linked to what police said the nurse had administered on Mo, then it means someone else had, had, had might have had, not might someone else had as admitted those drugs on Mo. Because, so who is that person? Whether agree. with more consent or with not without more consent, who is that person? That's what we need to find out. 
because Bail yourself with assumptions. No, this, this is not based on belief. This is fact. If postmortem find it I mean, a I mean, drug, I mean, no, argue. This is not a point of argument. Are you a medical? Are you, are you in not, the medical I'm line? I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm just establishing. Are you a in fact. the medical line? This is you, not. You know what metabolism. Belief. You know. Do you understand what metabolism is? I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. My point here is that then if, stop, then stop, stop, stop the 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 assumption game. It doesn't play well. Okay, stop the assumption game. It doesn't play well. There is no, I'm not assuming. There is no assuming. There's a postmortem <laughs> result what, out there. What I what I determine what I determined is that this police report is very shabby. It's not accurate, and none of it makes any sense. Because, first of all, if you're going to smash your hand, your hand, fist hand, against the glass, it's not going to be your arm that gets hurt. And um, how can he possibly bleed if there was no glass broken? So this whole story came from all the people in the house, the witnesses. So, of course, they're not going to tell everybody the right story. And as far as the nurse goes, we've never, ever heard from the nurse yet. We're only t hearing what they said. The police didn't do any investigation to actually find out facts. These are only going from the people who are in the house near the crime scene who are going to do everything they can to defend each other and say whatever they want to say. <laughs> and then the, then the police determine. But nothing is done right here at all. <laughs> punch through the glass against what people have been saying the police never said so that we have established today no nope, he didn't break any glass he didn't smash any glass he smashed his hand on the glass he didn't break anything so that also asks where did the profuse bleeding come from if no glass was broken you can't just punch something and bleed if anything you're gonna get um swollen fist Exactly. A small, a small and where did that injury also came from? The one in the forearm. If you did not, you know, break a glass. It's crazy, these people. They think the people they're talking to are stupid. And if, if the window did not break, take a look at um, the, the, the video of his hand. There was a cut. It wasn't just swelling up only. There is a cut in that hand. In that forehand. There is a cut. If you play the video again. So if that if they are telling us that no glass was broken, where does the blood comes from? Where does that cut in the forehand? Where does it come from? Um, um, came from speaking, home. You are, you, you know, you're it, it came from home from the stair rail. The part that bent is sharp. Uh, that's what cut his arm. To establish how. Buba died or how the nurse injected him. I don't think you've done a good job. No, um, he didn't come here for that. No, he okay, just came right. here to prove that there was no glass broken. Oh, okay. All right. Then I apologize. So everything that you said, I think I understand it. It um I think it makes things more clearer and uh, more um understanding. But I think um, I still have an issue with um, the nurse having to give more bad medications that were, that were meant to be taken orally and given intravenously. Because I think a nurse that is sensible, even if the nurse was an auxiliary nurse, she knows the difference between oral medication and intravenous medication and as well as some lingua medication and i'm sure that nurse feishara is not a novice when it comes to treating people and i'm sure that for her to have given that medication um intravenously mubad must not have been conscious or oh.